hey guys welcome back to the channel if you are new my name is vanessa welcome and if you are returning thank you for returning i appreciate you guys so much so today's video is ultimately going to be a thrift haul um, and i thought i would throw some clips of me um, at the thrift store some of the stuff i bought and, and then some i'd put it in the cart and then taken it out just because i'd uh, thought against it but yeah so I love the wood pieces from thrift stores that is like the aisle that I head to first is all the wood and then all of um, like the small home decor pieces this day that I did this shopping trip I had went to the Salvation Army first and that's where this is and then I had went to the Goodwill, however, I did not film in the Goodwill. And man, if I could take all of the wood and wicker things home with me, boy would I. So this piece is an, uh, a, a pet urn, and I was trying to open it to see if there were actually ashes in there. However, with one hand, I could not quite get it open. I'm hoping there wasn't. These two pieces here, I kept gravitating towards them because I thought they were wood. They were not, they were metal. This little laundry um, money coin bank, I did get that. It's so cute. Mm. So these pieces in the cart, I only end up with one out of, I think, the six or seven pieces that I had put in the cart.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Thank you for stopping by. So today's video um, is a kind of like a accumulation of thrift store items that I've purchased and I've had. Um, they're going to go with me to the new house and I am going to decorate with these pieces um, in the new house. I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's see what I got. And it's just all kind of random. Nothing is, you know, we're not gonna, like, I don't have anything grouped by like items. So I'm just gonna grab and we'll talk about it. So this first little piece says Holland. It's a little figurine. They're kissing a little boy and girl. It does say made in Holland. Super cute. I found this at um, Goodwill. I've got two of these guys and they are not vintage or antique. They're just thrifted, but these guys, accordion little hangers, super excited to put them up in the new house. Um, next one, which it's all dusty. It's the stuff has been in the garage, but um, I actually already have one of these. Um, a cup, um, a, a mug holder, but we can always use more mug holders. So I've got this little guy, super cute. I'm probably going to say super cute like a ton of times, so I apologize. And it has an S on them. Probably not to eat off of, but cute for decoration. Set of four, and they all have that S on them. So it's the furniture, the farmer's store furniture novelties. I found a brass duck. Look at her! I'm so excited to decorate with her. Like put her on, like um. A stack of books or something would be super cute. I don't know what this is. I don't set it on the counter. And I don't know, put stuff in. I'm not quite sure how I will style this, use this. I don't know, maybe say tea bags? I don't know what you'd put right there. I don't know. But really lightweight. It's like I went shopping at grandma's house for these things and I'm so excited. I got, so I'm just so happy to have unique pieces that I know that, you know, not everybody and their mother is going to have, um, when you go to their house. Okay. Next piece is a clock and it is a wind up clock. Blue is so pretty. Made in Japan. Japan it says Japan on the bottom there. So pretty. I don't have a mantle, so that will not be going on the mantle, but that would be a cute place for it to go. Okay, pictures. This little primitive farmhouse is cute. The black frame. I think I found that at the Goodwill. Um, this one, these I found all at the Goodwill. But we've got some ducks. Um, but this one's like a kitchen scene with that old stove. I like this big frame. And I don't know if I'm going to put all of these things in the house. But I like to have the choice to figure out what I'm going to do. So I, got, I think I got a set of six of these. And these are kind of popular. The I, I, Ivy and Courier, I think, Courier Knives. I don't know how to pronounce it. But those blue little plates. I got a set of those. This is a um, planter. And it's like a coffee grinder. 
it's just a little planter. It says coffee on it, two-toned. I love these colors. Let's see what else. Oh, I have this book. It's not antique or anything, but it's blue. I like the color and this, the spine. It says Moffitt Undergraduate Library there on the bottom. Uh, I probably won't be keeping this as I already have a salt and pepper shaker, but I like the iron, <clears throat> the detailing in it. And these fit in here perfectly. I don't know if it goes together or not, but this is how I bought it and I found it at the Goodwill. Um, oh, some wicker um, coasters. I probably will keep these. We can always use coasters, no matter living room, dining room, kitchen. Coasters are a fun thing to have, and I like that they're like the wicker material. This mug is beautiful, and I was gonna sell it, but I am going to keep it. It's a good size. So it's just got the fox painting on that side, and then over here it says like zero five liters, like half of a liter. I don't know, there's no markings on the bottom, but it's just, it's beautiful. I'm super happy to find that. I like to find, um, I used to kind of not really collect Ray Dunn. Um, I had like maybe at one time max of 10 pieces, mugs, cups, whatever Ray Dunn, like max 10 pieces. Um, I now probably have about two or three and I'm just, I'm done with that, right? So I'm trying to find unique mugs, big mugs, small mugs, hand painted, handmade, pottery, you know, some kids high school class project um, to replace because I just kind of want an eclectic home, comfortable, lived in, um, you know, like grandma's house feel. Like I just want things to be comfortable at home. Oh, here's another mug. Um, not handmade, but um, it's a beautiful blue. <clears throat> and uh, Whiskey Town National Recreation Area, California. I just love the color of this mug and the detailing. So, so pretty. I notice I like blue. And a lot of things that are blue here. Um, this is a light blue crock. Um, it says Cook's Club. <clears throat> Not antique or anything or vintage by any means, but I like the light blue color. Maybe I can use it as a planter. I don't really need anything for utensils to go into, but that'd be cute for plants. Oh, another mug. This is another, oh, let's see, Courier and Ives, or Ives and Courier. I can't, I don't know which one it is, but it's like the winter scene. Let's see, it says, oh, let's see, Courier and Ives, the homestead in winter, and it's got like a little chip on it, but it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Be cute with like a little succulent in it. This guy, a little dish. Um, it says hand, uh, made in Holland porcelain. I don't know if it's, I, it might be ironstone maybe. I don't know. I don't know much about the ironstone and that people collect, but. I like the little detailing on that. Keep that by the sink. You can put your rings 
rings in it, bracelets, jewelry watch. Um, oh, here's another, here's another mug. It's got ducks on it. This little guy's head is kind of worn off, but I would totally use this. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. There's nothing on the back, but the handle's kind of cool. Little ducks. <laughs> hoping no spiders jump out at me because this stuff has been in the garage for several months. This little pitcher, this little brown and white pitcher is so cute. You can see with like some, um, I don't know, baby's breath out of him, baby's breath out of it or just some fresh flowers would be super cute sitting on the table. Um, it says, I don't know what it says on the bottom. I can't read it. 10, 10, f I don't know. I don't know, but super cute. I was so excited when I found this. <laughs> it's a butter bell. I have a butter dish, but this one is super cute. I don't think it's vintage or anything. But, um, again, I love that blue on it with the, the white. Okay, this little mug, it's got like teacups on it. So dainty. I found this one at my little local junkie thrift store here where I live. I think I paid like two bucks for it. Super cute. Okay. This is a little wooden trinket box, I guess. It's got like the, I guess that's in cross stitch embroidery. I don't know what that is, but the little girl, the bonnet is so cute. And then it's just a little box. On the bottom, it's got some sort of a stamp, which I can't quite tell what it says. Oh, Tennessee Wood Crafters. Oh, Tennessee Wood Crafters. Okay, I will have to look that up. Okay, there's... I think these are candle stick holders. I don't know, they are super heavy. They kind of got like a shabby, chic distress to them. I don't know, but they're like two sizes there. Oh, they're really heavy, good pieces. Okay, let's see, I've got a couple more mugs. Oh my goodness, I went crazy on the mugs. Oh little owl mug look how cute he is it's probably like a cup eight ounces maybe but again it's got like that um the handle like the duck one did little owl is on both sides and there's no markings on the bottom I bought him for a dollar from the goodwill and this little Mug again, little daisy mug, or sunflower, not daisy, sunflower, I guess. I don't know, these things look like blueberries to me, but they're they're not blueberries. And then the handle, got no markings on the bottom, but super cute. I have to hide this stuff from my husband. I'm gonna have to pack it before we get to that point so that I can take it with me in the car. And then this is just another little pitch, a little pour. <laughs> it says stoneware Japan on it. It's got that brown. It's got kind of like it's speckled little creamer, I guess. Super cute. Sorry, I am a hot mess today. I just got up, threw on some clothes, and took the girls to school, so hot mess express today. 
another little um, wooden trinket uh, thingy. I don't know what you want to call it, but I thought that was super cute. No markings on it as to what it was, what it is, when, where, anything, but I like that it's wood. Now these little guys are <laughs> antiques made in India and it's a salt and pepper shaker pair. And this I found in an antique store. I think I paid like five bucks for the pair. They don't, there's nothing in them, but so cute to display. Oh, it's a letter, and I wish it was like more detailed, but um, it's a letter written from a soldier back in 1940. Um, he was at the Presidio of Monterey, and he wrote it to Miss Helen Furch in San Jose. And the stamp was three cents. Look at that. It's so cute. How they open the letters like this back then. I don't know why I bought that. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> now, these is a set of three measuring uh, cups, I guess, if you wanna say. So we've got one cup. We've got a matching half a cup. It says half cup on that side, and then this side it's one third cup. And then this little guy, a fourth of a cup. How cute are these three? Little pourers, little measuring cups. So I like the blues, I like the woods, I like the browns and creams is what I am sensing here. Okay, that is all in that box. Um, now on to the stuff that I had found today. Um, oops. I found this little guy from the Salvation Army. It is a little piggy bank, coin bank, I guess, and it says finders keepers. And you just, so if you find money in the laundry, and put it in here. I plan on redoing our laundry room at the new house and um, there's gonna be shelves in there. So this will go perfectly on the shelf in our laundry closet. We don't have a laundry room. It's just like the size of a washer and dryer and it's got um, not bifolding doors, but just like French doors. And these pieces I, or not that piece, this one I got at the Salvation Army. These next few pieces I had found at my little local junkie thrift store. So this little thing is just for juice, nothing fancy, but I love to drink out of little cups like this. It is a half cup and it was Skippy peanut butter. I bought it for a quarter, but it says Skippy on the bottom there and I don't it just I don't know yeah so it's perfect for kids and for me if you just want a quick drink of water juice perfect for juice actually really because nobody needs you know a 16 ounce glass of juice which my daughter thinks she needs she likes she likes to pour her own juice and it's like whoa so this is so cute See, everything is so cute. I'm so sorry. Um, I got this little guy. I don't know if he's like sterling silver or what, but another little pour creamer, creamery thingy. Now, here are my ironstone mugs that I have found. I got a set of four. There were eight. I did not think that I needed eight, so I just took four and left four for somebody else. But look how cute these are. 
Um, yeah, so. I'm so excited to display these guys in the new house. So I got four of those. I got, this was $3. Oops, let's see. Ugh, I hate when they put tape on stuff. Like, it would be cute with, like, a single or a couple little sunflowers in it or, like, a little rose. He's, like, you know, he's little. <laughs> I don't have very big hands, but he's little. And he was in there the last couple times that I had went. And I'm like, you know what? I'm buying it. I love the blue. The blue and the white. Nothing fancy. It's a breadstone, a bread warmer. So that'll be fun to have. <laughs> Heat it up in the oven. You know, these little <laughs> the lady when I was checking out, she's like, Oh, are you gonna bake are you gonna bake pies in it? And I'm like, no, they have a hole in them to hang them up. But one says blueberry pie, one says apple pie. And one says cherry pie. So I've got a couple of walls in my kitchen where these would look super cute. Oh God. These would look super cute to hang, you know, all three together. And those were $1.50 each. <clears throat> oh, and from the little thrift store, I found this little shirt Cuddles and coffee for $2.75. Cute to wear. Okay, last couple things um, found today at Goodwill. But I found, so this blanket has got like these, like the fringe. I don't know what this is. My parents have a blanket just like this. It's not green, but I think it's like blue and black and white, I think, or red and black. Anyways, it is just like this and it's got this fringe. This is just like a throw, but my parents actually have like a queen size like this. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, memories, I have to have that blanket. And it says it's <laughs> embroidered with UV on it. I don't, I don't know what UV is. Is that like University of Virginia? I don't know, but whatever. I like the plaid, the gingham, and this was $4.49. I think they were, oh, they're from Ikea. And the set of five of them was $2.39. And I'm, I'm gonna take the pictures out, but just standard wood frames, five of them. $2.49 at the Goodwill. A couple of the Goodwills that I've been going to lately around here just haven't had much. And it's kind of disappointing. Like their shelves are bare. Like I know you're getting a ton of stuff. I don't know. Maybe they just did a sweep of their stuff and sent it to the bins. I don't know. But it's kind of disappointing. Okay. Clothes. I have not tried these on, so hopefully they fit. But it's like kind of like a denim dress and it's kind of longer. It'd probably come down to my calves. I'm not very tall, I'm only like 4'11. But I think it will fit me. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try them on. And then there's another dress. Got like the flowy sleeves. Super breathable material. Again, blue. I must be on a blue kick. I'm wearing blue today. <laughs> Blue's the color, I guess. 
And then this one is like tie-dye, like a linen fabric. It's got like a tie in the back, but it's got some detailing. I don't know if you can see that detailing on the front there. I feel like this is for like ladies in their, I don't know, 50s or 60s. I'm sorry if anyone's 50 or 60. Um, I just turned 40, so. <laughs> and then it's got like little tassels at the bottom, little fringe. So that'll be nice for summer since the summer we will be part here, part Tennessee. Those are great summer dresses. And then last, or one of the last pieces, last but not least, um, I needed a purse. And so I found this little leather, faux leather type of purse. It seems brand spanking new. Like it even has the long strap that goes with it. But I needed a new purse because I've just been using a little wrist wallet and I'm tired of carrying it around. I want something a little more. So super cute. Get this wiped down and put my stuff in it so I can use it. All right. Lastly is the little lamp I had bought from the um, Goodwill the other day. And it came with no shade, but I like the shape. It's like an urn shape and it worked. The lady, when I bought it, she tested it out and it was only $4.99. So today, while I was at Walmart, I bought a bulb and I bought a, bought a shade And I don't, I think the shade is too white of a shade, but it's white and cream. I don't know, it's, it'll work, I guess. I'm just gonna put it right here so that when I get up in the morning, um, I can just turn it on. I don't have to turn on all these big overhead, bright daylight bulb lights, so yeah. Super cute. This was $11 from Walmart. And yeah. So that is my large thrift haul from, you know, no particular time. Um, most of the stuff I've had in the garage just waiting to go to the new house with me. And I'm super excited to get the stuff to the house and get it set up and decorate. Um, I'm so excited to show you that house and just be there and be comfortable and can settle down. Okay, it is just after two o'clock. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and then uh, pick up the house a little bit before the girls get home and because I've been out all morning and then uh, put this stuff back in the garage. And then in a few months, I will pack it up, pack it very carefully. So thanks for hanging out with me and checking out all the goodies. Oh, you know what? Also, I had thrifted, um, which I was gonna sell, but I decided to keep because the lights go out here <laughs> every once in a while. I had thrifted two new, oops, two new oil lamps. There's one in this window, but I bought some oil for them and my husband lit it and they work perfect. So got two of those. Oh, and I also got this little crock. I guess it's a crock, I don't know. It's just a little container. It was $2.50 from my little junkie thrift store here. And I didn't know what else to put in it, so I put these little flags in it. <laughs> so, okay, that is it. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoy seeing what type of decor I'm into. And uh, once we move, hopefully I can share, share some more shopping with me videos, shop with me videos, as well as decor hauls. Um, not really looking to do, you know, like the Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Kirkland's, um, Target, shop with me is, um, I like the thrift stores and antique stores so that I can find some really unique pieces for the house. Okay, that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you. I would love to get to know you guys, um, become friends with you all. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.